Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. A couple of weeks ago, I released a video called Disable Autosave. And in this video, I showed you how to make Access behave more like a Microsoft Word document or an Excel spreadsheet. When you make changes to a document, if you go to close it, it asks you, are you sure you want to save these changes? Well, Access doesn't behave that way, and that confuses some people who aren't familiar with Access. You know, they make changes to an order or to a customer record, and when you close that form or just move away from the record, Access saves it in the background without you being the wiser, right? So a lot of people asked me, how can I change that behavior? So if changes are made to, let's say, the customer record, it prompts you, are you sure you want to save these changes, okay? That's what this video covers. If you haven't watched it, Go watch it now or you're not going to get the rest of today's video. Okay, so after releasing the last video, I got tons of emails and comments on the channel and posts on the website asking, well, that's great and fine and dandy, but does it work in a sub form? And of course, the first thing that I tell people is, did you try? <laughs> people always ask me hypothetical questions. Well, would this work with the, can I do this with a combo box? Try it. The best way that you can learn, especially access, the best way you can learn is just try it. Do it. Instead of asking me, <laughs> just go see if it works for yourself. And if not, see if you can figure out how to get it to work, right? That's the best way to learn. That's how I learned, just by tearing it apart and working with it and seeing, oh, well, what, about, what if I do this? What if I try that? So anyways, the short answer is yes, you can get this to work with the records in a subform. However, the long answer is it may not behave exactly the way you want it to behave and to get it to do what you're going to want it to do is going to involve some more detailed coding, which we'll talk about in just a minute. All right, so here I am in the tech help template. It's a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. And in a nutshell, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but what the last video covered was if you want to have it so that when changes are made to this record, access prompts you, the basic way to do it is you go into the forms properties Go to the before update event. This will run anytime this record is updated. All right, right in here, you say if message box, are you sure? Comma VBS, no, we'll keep it simple today. All right, if that's anything other than VBS, then you're going to abort that change. You're going to say me dot undo and then cancel equals true. That undoes the changes and cancels the update. All right, save it, come back out here, close it, close it. You come in here, you move from record to record, everything's fine, okay? You wanna change this to that, okay? As soon as you try to leave the record or close it, either one, it's gonna say, are you sure? If you say yes, it saves the changes, okay? And if you do some changes and try to leave it and say no, it undoes the changes and puts you back on the record. Okay, that's the nutshell. Now, subform. You can do that in the subform. Okay, come right here. Same thing. In fact, I'll just copy this code right here. Copy. Come back over here. Go to the subforms properties. Not the subform control, right? You want the form property. Here, move this over. You want the form properties inside the subform control. Okay, before update, right here, paste it in, save it, okay? Now, when you come back out here and you go to modify a, an item on the order, okay, are you sure? It's going to ask you for each item. Are you sure? Yes, all right? And, and what I said before was, that might not be the behavior that you want, but that's what you're gonna get with this simple code. You have to remember that each one of those line items is a separate record in a table. So that event is gonna happen each time you update one of these items. Okay? Now, is there a way to have it run just once for this entire order? For example, if I change this, then I change this, then I add a couple records, maybe I delete one, Okay, so now the order has changed as a whole. Now is there a way to change that and to have that event fire just once for the entire order? Yes, it's possible, but it's gonna involve a lot more coding. 
okay? I'm gonna talk about what needs to be done now. I'm gonna give you the, the basic overview. And if you wanna see a run through of me actually build that code, I'm gonna do that in the extended cut for the members. Okay, benefit of membership, silver members and up, you're gonna get access to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk through building the whole thing. Essentially what you have to do is, you have to set a, either a global variable or I'm gonna use a temp var for Adam at temp vars. <laughs> Uh, to basically have this order remember that something's been changed because you're going to move from record to record down here and this guy up top here needs to know about it, okay? You also have to remember what was here initially when the order started being edited. So what we're going to do is as soon as you start modifying any one of these records, we're going to back these records up to a temporary table. That way, when we're all done, when we go to close this form, We'll look at that variable and say, hey, were any of the subform items changed? If so, now we have to prompt the user. Do you want to keep those changes or abort those changes? If they say keep it, everything's fine. Delete the data in the temporary table, close the record. If they say no, don't save the changes, we have to delete these items, restore the values from the backup table, cancel the changes, and then close the form. So you see it's a lot more complicated. It's gonna involve some SQL, a uh, lot more programming and that's what, that's what you have to do because these records, you know, each one of them fine, you know, you can, you can do that. And then every time you change an item, are you sure you want to change the item? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Do this. Da, 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 da. Leave it. Are you sure? Oh wait, no, I goofed. No, that's okay. So if you're happy with that, great, stick with it. That'll work. But if you want the order as a whole to remember that and to handle that as one change, then come visit me in the extended cut. All right, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, not just this one, all of them. There's like, I think 400 some now. And you get a free class every month. So check it out. I hope you learned something today. That's your fast, fast tip. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access to, I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters.
Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.